This video is extending on previous videos where we were working with the uh, Airfly, to which we have added an X keys T bar, and now we are going to add an X keys joystick. Of course, if you could choose yourself, you would buy Skahoy PC controllers. They are high class, the best you can get for controlling all kinds of things, and they have the engine inside to do all this. So that is probably your favorite, but today we are showing how far you can go, how flexible you are with Skahoy technology, centering around Reactor, which is our panel orchestration software. So already here, you see that we have integrated the Airfly with the T-Bar that is coming from previous video, and now we'll add this one uh, X keys device here. Now, the thing is that we can theoretically only have like one device at a time, so we need to add a USB hub. So in other words, I'll unplug the T-bar here and then I will plug in the USB hub to the, um, see if I can hit this in the blind, the other way around, no, it's not true. Okay, like that, nice. Okay, and with a powered USB hub, you can basically have all these devices um, uh, many devices we have had like you know easily these 10 devices that this one would host can be fit in and there you see the t-bar is already in place i can do uh, a cut that's what we did in the previous video we made this into a cut button and then we made this into an auto button which i now pressed the second time and i can use the t-bar to do a transition and so on and i also do have kia functionality here so basically this toggles in and out of these being kias so you would actually see that I'm turning on and off the same as this key cut up here. So I'm just making some redundant action on this one, but now we're adding this one as well. So, uh, and we'll just put that up on the side here so that we basically have joystick control as well for this whole setup. We wanna associate it with some PDC cameras. So that's kind of our mission in what we're doing. And uh, I would assume that probably already plugging this into the hub might actually have turned it into a joystick we can select on the network. So there you go. We have now uh, added the um, XK12 Joy to the configuration and we would call this camera control. All right, so we make a new configuration for this guy. And now we can zoom in onto this controller and we can assign functionality to the joystick. So um, clicking here, we basically need to assign to, uh, I think the outer one is probably left, right. So let's just try this out. And then we go to the CIN 100 and then we choose pan, all right? And that is device ID two, that's probably true. So actually let's see if this works. I'm now using the joystick on the, um, device and this one the tilt direction okay okay i messed it up it was the other way around this was pen and this is oh wait no 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 that is actually working this is this is the right way all right guys just to show you i'm now able to pan the camera by using the joystick here so i'm panning and I can also tilt the joystick, oh, sorry, tilt the camera by using the joystick. So joystick control for this one. Now I want to have it on the other one as well. So now we go back into our configuration of the Airfly and uh, now we need to figure out how are we gonna do this. I want to have a camera selector. So in, in fact, what I wanna do on the first layer is name it Cam1. Okay, so this is just a rudimentary quick way to use Reactor 2.0 with a paging paradigm to say Cam1 CIN100 camera. Then we'll have Cam2, that would be our CIN700. And then we could have Cam3 and we can have Cam4. Okay, Cam4. All right, like that. So now I go to the Cam2 layer, I click this one and I associate that with the pan direction on the CIN700. I click this one, associate it with the tilt direction on the uh, 700 and I could do the same for the cam three and four, but I want to have a camera selector on it. So I will associate these buttons down here with camera selection. So that's basically navigation as the next thing we'll be doing. Button number six, close this one up, then go to navigation and say, go to page. Okay, go to page, that would be going to page number one. Then I can go to the next one, go to page, page number two and 
there's also ways you can sort of copy paste this. So if you needed to do a lot, I would probably do that. But in this case, we just want quick and dirty on these. All right. So let's check page four, camera four, camera three, camera two, camera one. All right. It works. And the other way. Yes. OK. So I have my my camera control working here. Let's uh, see if it actually works in real life. I'm on the first camera. I can do my pan. OK, so that's nice. I go over to the other camera. If I pan, nothing is happening here. But if I change to this camera, you'll see that I'm panning the camera back in the Skahoy headquarters in a different place in Copenhagen, which is besides the point. But it's just showing that the Skahoy technology is able to work across the VPNs, networks, the Internet and so on. These buttons could be used for preset recall. So we can now go to camera page number one. Here we know we have CIN 100. Um, I think we could actually drag across these, maybe drag across. Yeah, let's take four at a time. And then we could do uh, preset, preset store and recall. We uh, would take preset ID number one at first, but use the batch editor to then make them one, two, three, and four. And now we do have that associated with the first camera. If we go to the next one, we'll do the same. So here we have CIN. Uh, 700 we will add preset recall to this one and start with preset number one but auto increment the uh, numbers so let's check how this works now go to cin 100 and then uh, on the preset recall we'll recall the first preset okay and second preset okay third preset and the fourth preset which is not defined apparently so let's go over here select the second camera preset number one preset number two, preset three, and preset four. I am pretty happy. Guys, I think this is really impressive. We managed to integrate uh, very flexibly USB devices on Airfly. So we now added a joystick controller from X-Keys, a T-Bar from X-Keys, all with this one. And in other videos, I'm showing you how you can use the awesome GPIO additions that can all be plugged into the USB port of the device. So this is a great way. If, if that is your style, then you can do that. Otherwise, uh, don't make the mistake of thinking that this is all we've got. Uh, we have a, a pretty nice selection of controllers. If you go to darkroomskahoy.com, then you will see that um, we have uh, beautiful images of all our controllers. One of the most popular options would be Airfly Pro. And uh, we also have it in, an, in a version with the um, classic NKK keys, which is like the broadcast style buttons that everybody love and adore. So they are here on this model. Very, very popular controller. So with this one, you uh, do get a T-bar as a part of it. And also our controllers are designed to be used in a modular way so that you can basically uh, you can slap on a joystick even like the XC7. I don't know if we have it here in this list. No, we don't. Okay, but we actually do have just a module, which is the joystick. But uh, more likely, you would go be going for PC View. PC View is um, one of the PC controllers, not the Extreme, not the Pro. Those are the most popular. But then we have PC View, which has uh, beautiful thumbnails on the display so that you can uh, capture presets. So instead of having a key with just a, a button color, potentially, you will have a thumbnail showing you the preset as it looked when you started. So that's really cool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Write emails to innovationlab at skyhoy.com if you have questions. Um, we'll be happy to help you. And uh, thanks for watching so faithfully.